Hey there guys, and this is part three uh, of our Sci-Fi Watch tutorial, and we're going to be adding some sound effects. So over here in Final Cut Pro, I found uh, the sound effect that I want, so I'm going to go with this one, and uh, we'll just drag that over to Motion. Where did Motion go? There it is. So we'll drag it over to Motion, and we'll drag it into our project here. And we'll just drop it in to the project. Okay, so there we have now our media. Now we'll turn on our sound so we can see the sound being illustrated here. And we want to go to just where we hit the button and we'll drag our sound to that position. So the sound uh, effect will play as we hit the button. So you just play around with it to get it in the place that you want. And then of course then we're going to hit the button again, so we'll just go over to our media and we'll drag it in. So where we hit the button for a second time, we're also going to want to play the sound effect again. So that will be our thing there, and then we'll hit the button for a third time. So we drag the sound effect in again into our timeline here, and there we go. So there we have our three button presses. Then you can go ahead and hide the audio. So you just press on this button here to display and hide the audio tracks. Um, another thing is uh, I muted the audio on our um, movie file, so you can see here that it's muted. So if you go over to audio, you can choose to mute or, or play these various. Um, Sounds. So I turned off the sound, the original audio track from my recording of the watch. Um, so that's our three uh, button presses. Now when our second button press is made, we want to switch this to a different um, to a different uh, display. So we're gonna that one's gonna disappear as we press. So just there where our finger releases we want to create an out so we'll select our um, circular copy group here and we hit O and that will create our out so it will disappear as we press the button that second time and what I want to do is make a second one appear there. So again, we'll just go over to our um, selection of head up displays that I've got here um, in motion. And let's switch it to, let's say this one. Let's check that out. It's a bit boring, let's go over something else. How about this one here? Okay, so we'll just um, select that group, right click, copy, come back over to our project here, and right click and paste. And there we then have our second head up display. Now we're going to do the same as what we did in the first tutorial. So. Um, you can just go over to that if you want to find out how I did this, but you basically just scale it down and then we're going to um, adjust its position and motion track it again. So I'll just pause the video and I'll set that up and then um, we'll come back to it. So uh, I've done the uh, various adjustments and the motion tracking for our second head up display. So you can see now when I press the button for the second time, our display changes. There's our first second and then finally we just want it to shut off so what we will do when we hit that button for the last time I'm going to scale down the whole of our circular group so we'll select that uh, we'll go over to our inspector and hit a keyframe for scale 
Then we'll jump forward to the end and we'll just set that scale to zero. So that will animate our thing disappearing off of the screen. So let's just play that again. Okay, now I wanna make that a little bit quicker. So we'll adjust those keyframes slightly so it's a bit more snappy. Probably bring that forward a bit and bring this forwards a little. See how that looks. Yeah, so I'm happy with that. And then um, to this second head-up display, we'll apply all those same modifications that we did previously. So the randomization, so it flickers and um, the opacity, all the same stuff that we did in the second part of this tutorial. So we'll get the same kind of look. So I'll just go ahead again and apply those. So I'll pause the video and then we'll take a look at it afterwards. I've added those um, effects to uh, the randomness um, to our second head-up display. Let's take a look at our project so far. So there we go. Um, so I think it looks it looks pretty good. Um, it's even smoother once you get the final rendered out version. Um, so in the next part of this tutorial, I'll be going over how we actually created this head-up display itself. So um, as usual, you can go to my blog. The address can be found underneath this video. And from there, you can download the project files. And um, you can also get these uh, head-up displays. Also, I've got a motion file there, which um, I'm using, uh, which uh, I created. And you can download. And it's full of lots of different... Uh, head-up displays that you can utilize in your own projects there. Um, I'll be adding more to this as well as time goes on. Um, so maybe someday I'll charge for it, but right now it's free, so get it while you can. Um, I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, don't forget to like the video and um, share it with anyone who might be interested and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, so thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.